I've had the opportunity to drive Toyota's new Hilux back home here in Ireland after the initial launch. Today I'm driving the new automatic gearbox version, uh, which is matched to the new 2.4 litre turbo diesel engine. This is a brand new engine from Toyota, and what it does is it boosts the power on the Hilux. It's significantly more powerful in terms of brake horsepower than the previous model, and also the engine torque goes up to 400 newton meters. And what that means is it adds to the pulling power. The Hilux now, the towing rating goes from 2.8 to 3.8, 3.2 tons, and that's a very impressive step up. The other important feature of the new Hilux is improved fuel economy. This new Hilux is a far more car-like in terms of its driving ability. It drives as smooth as many of the cars on the market. What you'll notice is you've got a touch screen control unit here which controls most of the, the climate control like the heating system as well as the radio etc. And in some models you can specify a satellite navigation system which will be operated from the screen as well. It also doubles as a screen for the reversing camera and reversing camera standard in this particular Hilux. So there's a lot of extra features in it. It looks a bit like a tablet. Some people might be a bit dubious of that aspect of it, but it's a very similar design to what's available in the new Land Cruiser. So Land Cruiser drivers will be comfortable and will be familiar with it. The other significant difference is in terms of on, on the, the gearbox end of it here. In the past, the change from four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive and the high-low ratios was done on the gear lever and required clutching or in the sense of the automatic. In this new model it's controlled by a dial here just beside the steering wheel to the left of it and that gives you your four-wheel drive high ratio and the four-wheel drive low ratio and that's all controlled by a dial electronically rather than with a manual system. The design of the dials here in front have been changed as well, a lot more modern, more digital readouts in terms of it, but a good deal of control in terms of the information that's here and quite easy to use. The other thing you'll notice is that there's a transmission system that gives three different driving options. So you have normal driving, or you can have eco driving, which will give you the most economical drive uh, available, and it lowers the revs and it reduces the sort of the automatic gearbox acceleration qualities. You change that up to power drive and straight away you can identify a significant difference in power. Now you don't always notice this in some vehicles but in this Hilux once you hit that power button you can instantly feel that you're getting the full amount of that 150 brake horsepower and every single bit of the 400 newton meters of torque. So from that point of view there's a lot more ease of driving features than there would have been in the Hilux in the past. Toyota are determined that reliability is sacrosanct, particularly in a vehicle like the Hilux. And they're telling us that this will be a vehicle that will survive the rigours of what any 4x4 will ever have to do. From an, the Irish market point of view, the other significant difference is the price. Toyota have shifted the price upwards by €3,000 for the new model, so it's more than €36,000 as an entry price. And that puts it a little bit more expensive than some of the competitors on the market and there are plenty of new ones including the new Nissan Navara and a very impressive new Ford Ranger as well so it's this game is not totally belonging to Toyota, the Toyota Hilux we've got very significant competition there and more and more pickup 4x4 competition on the way in the near future but I would say drive this new Hilux and I think you'll be impressed you'll be impressed by the smoothness I'd recommend that you take a drive with the automatic gearbox. I think you'll like the ease of which it works and the ability it has to deal with in your on and off road driving conditions.